In this video here today, I will show you how to add your own real name fixes to Foot Manager 2024. Before we get started though, guys, I think it's important to note that you will need to buy the FM in-game editor to do this. Now that is out of the way, once you've got your editor all set up, this is what it will look like. Of course, you can uh, load it up from your Steam page, but you can also create a desktop shortcut as well. So. This is what the home page will look like on your editor. The uh, The possibilities are endless on this editor as well, but obviously today we'll just focus on the real name fixes. You can change any name of anything you want to, to whatever you want to change it to, from competitions to managers, coaches, players, trophies, team names. The possibilities are endless, but of course I'll be just focusing on the pretty obvious ones like Parthenope, Brianza, and Real Hispalis. So first of all, the first one I want to tackle is the most obvious one, and that is Parthenope. So the easy way to find them is go onto clubs here on the database section. And first of all, you might be able to see them on the homepage. If you can't, I can see them on the homepage. I can see Parthenope here. But also, if you want to, you can just type it up. Just write add condition name, and then name contains Parthenope. And then you obviously type, you find the team there. You click on Parthenope, and then once you find the team, Parthenope here, you click on edit and it takes you to everything about the club there basically. And as you can see, the name is Parthenope, the short name is Parthenope. We don't want that, we want them to be called Napoli. So we'll change that to Napoli. It's not just as simple as changing one name because as you can see here, there's actually five different styles and names here for each club as well. So obviously the name has changed to Napoli. The short name is also Napoli because it's a short name anyway. The six letter name is still six letters, so that is Napoli also. And you've got three letter name and alternate alternative three letter name as well, which I just put Nap and NPL. So that is done at the moment for Napoli. Change them from Parthenope to Napoli, of course. Another one I want to tackle is uh, Raul Hispalis and also Raul San Sebastian, San Sebastian, and I think also Atletico Pamplona. So let's go to competitions first of all now. Go to competitions. I know this is La Liga, so I will go to the Spanish first division there. I'll click edit. And first thing also I want to do is, I don't want it to be known as the Spanish first division. I want it to be known as the Spanish La Liga. So up here, again, with the name, very simple. You just change it to Spanish La Liga. And the short name, I will just call La Liga. It's worth noting as well that anything you do do isn't saved as of yet. So if you do turn, down, turn off the editor, what you have changed has not been saved. We get to the saved part at the end of the video. So now the Spanish La Liga is known as the Spanish La Liga and the short name is La Liga as well. We'll go to teams, we'll find the teams I've mentioned. So a lot of these teams are, you know, have their real names in the in the, uh, in the the editor here. So but one of them that does stick out is Atletico Pamplona. For those of you who are not sure who that is, that is actually Osasuna. So I don't want to be known as that. I want it to be known as Osasuna. So again, very simple. I just changed the name to Osasuna. Again, the short name, make sure you do that as well. And again, the six letter name, I'll just change it to Osasun. And again, the three letter name, OSA. And then the second one doesn't really matter too much. So I'll just put OSN. So that is done now as well for Osasuna. To quickly go back, you just click on the back arrow here. It goes straight back to the, the clubs. And there's another two I want to change, and that is Raul Hispalis. For those of you who are unsure as well, that is actually Real Betis. So I want it to be known as Real Betis. Again, make sure you change all the names. So the short name will be Betis. This is for me, preferably. My preference, sorry. But of course, I'm sure many of you will be very similar as well. The six letter name will, of course, be Betis as well for me. There's one more I want to tackle here in La Liga, and that is Real San Sebastián. That is, of course, Real Sociedad. So I want to change that to Real Sociedad as well. And again, change all the short names as well. So I want it to be known as R Sociedad for the short name. So that is all La Liga I've tackled there, which is looking much better now. As you can see, Betis is a short name for them. Osasuna and Real Sociedad. So it's looking even more realistic. But it doesn't end with just teams and competition names as well. You can also change people's names. Another one I have changed myself as well. I've changed the English Premier Division to the Premier League. As I said before, the possibilities are endless here. And uh, there's obviously, there's still be some names you'll, that'll pop up that you want to change. Most of them are um, are their official licensing name. But of course, the English Premier Division is known as the English Premier League. So I would change that as well. So let's get to people then. And down on the database here, you can select people. And one, one manager, sorry, I know for sure I want to change the name of is Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel's name is not in the game. He is known as Matthias Dom, 
which is, uh, yeah, for me, very, very annoying. I don't want him to be known as Matthias Dahm because he is Thomas Tuchel. So if you want to find Matthias Dahm, you type in Matt and it should be the um, the first result there. Also, you can go to Bayern Munich and you'll be able to find him there as well. So once you find him, you click on him, you click edit. And again, you just change his first name from Matthias to Thomas. And you change his second name from Dahm to Tuchel. So then after you do that, it should pop up there. His full name is Thomas Tuchel. So once you've done everything you want to do, there's more things I would do on this as well. Change some other teams' names. But the likes of uh, another one that's uh, quite common as well is actually in Syria as well. And if you go to competitions, Italian Syria, you go edit and you go teams. One of them is Brianza, which of course is Monza. So I'll do that one quickly as well. You change Brianza's name from Brianza to Monza. Again, with a short name as well. And because it's five letters, the six-letter name will be also Monza. And also, these uh, three-letter names and alternative three-letter names as well, they're important for the games you play against them. So, for example, if you get the Brie there, when you're playing against them, if you are playing against them, it'll pop up their name as Brie. Don't want that. You want it to be Mon. Or, in my opinion, it'll be M N Z as well. So, once you've done everything you want to do in terms of changing that, Teams' names, competitions' names, players' names, etc. You go to File there in the corner, and you go to Save Edit Data As. Then you save it as whatever you want to save it as. I've saved it as Name Fix, as you can see there. It's saved in both my cloud and my local files as well. Uh, worth noting that I did just do this, and I saved it into my cloud files, and it wouldn't pop up for me on my game. So I changed it and saved it into the local, um, local save, and it did pop up there. I'm not sure how it would do it for you guys, but I've just noticed that myself. So preferably save it into the local file. And after you've saved it, you'll have to go and start a new game, because if I show you here, if I load my most recent game, the changes would not have been made into this game mode. So we actually load the game here. And I go check out. Let's go check out Parthenope. Let's see. They're still known as Parthenope. So we go to Syria here. As you can see, Napoli are still known as Parthenope. So what you need to do is you need to start a new career game. And then when you start the new career game, the first thing that will pop up will be career game setup. And you see here it says database. You click on that and it'll pop up editor data files. And as you can see, the file is there name fix it should just tick it by default so it should always be ticked but if it's not ticked of course tick that confirm and then do everything you want to do in terms of setting up your fm save of course and then we will select the uh the places where i have made changes to we'll make it very small to make it very very quick you start your game of course and then when you set up your new game you should go and check to see if this all works so we'll go to the liga first of all and there you go Atletico pamplona are now known as osasuna also, Real Hespalis, Real Betis, which is very nice. And the other one is Real Sociedad. So you actually click on the teams as well. You see that Real Sociedad is officially the name. We go look at the league here as well. That's known as the Spanish La Liga. So that's all changed very well. No more Pamplona, which is nice to see. No more Hespalis. Let's go check out the Serie A as well. Let's see if that's changed. Yep, as you can see, no more Parthenope or Brianza. You've got Monza and Napoli. And also, finally, let's go see if uh, Thomas Tuchel is now known as Thomas Tuchel. And as you can see there, his name has changed successfully to Thomas Tuchel. So, of course, there's many more names you can change as well. One example for myself would be the Brazilian teams. They're all known by three-letter names, which is rather annoying. It'd be nice to be known by the official names like Santos, Palmeiras, etc. So, plenty more name fixes to do out there. Which is a quick demonstration to see how you, uh, show you how you can do it. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. Only costs £6.99. I understand if you can't afford that, but if you can, it's worth going to buy the editor because it just... Takes your FM gameplay to the next experience as well. There's plenty more things you can change in the game, things you aren't happy with, things that happened in real life in terms of transfers as well. So it's worth going to get. And if you want to, if they really do bug you the likes of Parthenope and Brianza, you can change it in your editor. So that is the end of this video, guys. If you do like the video, do hit that like button for me. It would really help the video out a lot. And also, if you're new around here, you want to see more from me, do hit that subscribe button as well. It'd really help me out. Addy, much appreciated. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you for the next one.